today's American story with Bob Dotson comes from Forest, Mississippi, home to a little known national treasure who's made a big impact on thousands of lives. You can't always tell about a car by its polish. Same with people. Folks in Forest, Mississippi know Jimmy Crudup is good with his hands. But few know what magic they can do. This former truck driver with only a high school education taught surgery for 30 years. Yeah, I couldn't stand the sight of blood. <laughs> and you don't like needles? Don't like needles. What are you doing in an operating room? I had a family to take care and a thousand miles away from home and I had to have a job. When the trucking business hit a hard time, Jimmy took a job cleaning medical tools at a research lab here at the University of Michigan. He watched the surgeons working, and it all seemed as simple to him as rewiring his old car. So one day, he borrowed the doctor's books and began teaching himself. I heard some of the older surgeons talking about this amazing guy, Jimmy. He just watched what these guys were doing, and he did it better than them. Sherman Silver was a Michigan med student in the 1960s, struggling when he asked Jimmy for help. I was terrified because I had no manual ability whatsoever. Dr. Silver became one of the pioneers of microsurgery, now one of the leading fertility specialists. Techniques he perfected with tools Jimmy made for him. Jimmy explained to me it's all in the mind, in the brain, it's not really in the hands. They practiced on rats. Once you could do a heart transplant on a rat, uh, you know, uh, it's not a big deal to do a testicle transplant on a human. Of course, Jimmy was not allowed to work on people, but... The other professors didn't know how to do microsurgery. <laughs> so they started sending students to learn what only Jimmy could teach. Why didn't you become a doctor yourself? I had a speech problem. I stuttered really bad. But I was just determined that I was going to break myself and study because I was in a new environment. He did. By then, he was in his late 30s and had four children to raise. And all those students. You helped so many doctors to greater fortune than your own. Mm -hmm. What did you get out of all this? Well, I knew these doctors was going to be operating on humans. And my reward out of it is that they made them better doctors and they saved a lot of lives, you know. Oh, yeah. Jimmy's oh, no, retired well, actually, now, living yesterday. back in Mississippi. At 79, still taking care of people. You been feeling all right? <laughs> to his neighbors, he's just that quiet old guy who can fix anything. Jimmy seldom mentions what he's done. What he's done speaks for itself. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, with an American story in Forest, Mississippi. An extraordinary American story, and we thank Bob for bringing that to us.